Gender equality be you. Eliminating prejudice in lawmaking. In 2016, the Gender Equality Bill was first introduced to the 8th Senate. The bill seeks to protect the rights of widows, guarantee appropriate measures against gender discrimination in political and public scene, and prohibit violence against women in Nigeria. The bill was rejected by some male lawmakers who argued that the Nigerian constitution was clear on the rights of citizens, including women. Biodun Olujumi, Senator representing Ekiti South, however, reworked the bill and continued the pursuit in the Senate since first reading in 2019. After scaling second reading and referred to the Senate Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters, unfortunately, the bill was rejected again by some male lawmakers, claiming that the bill was against religious practice and that they can only favor gender equity over gender equality. Now, great women and men were recognized in the Quran and the Bible. So, why shouldn't we give anyone equal opportunities in contributing to the attainment of a balanced and progressive nation? More so, no human, be they male or female, is more human than any other human. So everyone deserves fairness, justice, social, economic opportunities. The strength of a state is seen in her ability to see possibilities parity in leadership offers. It also calls for the need to look beyond biases and utilize diversity to strengthen its systems. However, recent trends and happening have proven that the issue of gender equality mainstreaming is bound to be swept under the carpet as a particular gender at the helm of leadership is seen as a taboo in some certain areas. In the 21st century, where nations around the globe are searching for more advanced ways and solutions to tackling problems, some are still at the very low of thinking gender equality should, be, should not be encouraged. This anomaly begs the following question. What is our future with policies that have no place for gender equality or equality at large? Are we governed by biased belief that some sets of individuals are not fit to rule? What happens to the fundamental human rights, which stipulates right to freedom from discriminatory biases based on sex, ethnicity, or religion? These and many more are the questions roaming the minds of progressives amongst us. The issue of gender equality is a universal debate, and patriarchal system have made gender equality almost impossible. People are not supposed to be evaluated by their ethnicity or gender, but by their abilities to deliver only and if only we as a nation can see the possibilities of equality, then we are sure to be one step further in the progress ladder. In conclusion, leadership, intellectualism, greatness has no gender. It could be attained by anyone who puts in the necessary effort. Gender equality is more than a goal in itself. It is a precondition for meeting the challenge of reducing poverty promoting sustainable development, and building good governance. And that's for Kofi Annan, the former UN Secretary General. God rest his soul. Hmm. Well, that's a, that's, a, that's a good one. And, mm. and I agree with you on, on all counts that um, in the 21st century, we shouldn't, be, we shouldn't be having the kind of conversation that we, we have in the parliament over the extent to which we are going to include women in mainstream women in politics and other facets of the society. Uh, having said that, I have not read the legislation or the bill, so I wouldn't know the angle of dissent or convergence. But I understand that, whatever the case may be, some people are saying that women should not be, they should not be, that they should not be, they should only be seen, seen no but they should not be heard. And I think that is so obvious. In, in the 21st century, it should not be heard. It just reminds, I was watching Al Jazeera the other day, and I saw that in Afghanistan, the current regime there has passed a law that women cannot ride more than 45 it, minutes yeah, without having a male <laughs> guy, what they call <laughs> Muharram in Islamic context. So that's, we cannot, Afghanistan should not be the standard that we aspire to as a nation. We are a, we are a democratic government whereby the constitution, as you pointed out in section 42, has recognized the, 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 the fundamental right of everybody, irrespective of the agenda and any form of uh, inclination. So uh, we will continue to advocacy to revive 
that bill and see that eventually it sees the light of day yeah no yeah. but that notwithstanding i would like to be devil's advocate here okay. have you really tried to work with women in legislation they are not the easiest people you say with women yes i think that i mean yes i think that it goes beyond working with the women in legislation i'm looking more at the system, what it means that the, the system, system the as system. a whole yeah. especially in 2021 where we have world leaders of leaders. countries heads of states mm -hmm. as women yeah. how can we in 2021 in nigeria yes. still hold such backward mm. views and i do call them backwards and i often wonder what supersedes in Nigeria? Is it the law of the country or a religious Tradition. or law? I just, I just don't, I, I just don't, I, I don't get it. And I think it's, I think it's just sad. I'm glad that you're a man and you're the one who is talking said, about yeah. making this case. Because if we were women, people this, would be like, oh, it's women at it again. So it's, yes. a, it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. As a woman, I know what it is to you know, to have that bias used. For instance, do you know, I don't know now, but do you know that you cannot even apply for a Nigerian passport as a woman without either your husband's consent, consent. or your father? It's ridiculous. In 2000, and you, 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 you didn't know that, did you? Know. Yeah, because you're a man. Nobody's Why? going to ask you. <laughs> yes. But yes, so did your husband, your husband has to sign something or your father. And I'm thinking, okay, I'm a widow and I'm an orphan. I, 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 so so where do you know, I think I think it's not that maybe it must have changed because I don't quite I hope I've seen quite some it has changed, but I, I actually went through it. And then if you are, you are a woman and you're trying to apply for your children, children you have to have the father's consent. Do you understand? Yeah. And that's yeah. just mm. the basic yeah, that's, that's just the practical system that is so entrenched in society. Yeah. But you see, I think it goes also because of the fact that um, li um law and custom are really head to head here because you're a lawyer yes it's head to head so even when you get an edge in the legal side you have the custom running up to next to you it. and you know yeah, changing the it the customs will change mm. and should change you can't even but we can't seem to but do that you know, know what is funny it's funny how in some instances the culture wins because it suits our purpose it suits at that our time. purpose mm. we're not consistently choosing no. culture in no. the things that really matter to the men exactly they, they're exactly. not choosing culture uh, speaking of how this whole thing is uh, is even beyond the nigerian context I was watching an interview the other day on same Al Jazeera. Then it was Antonio Guterres, the current United yeah, Nations Secretary General. So the journalist asked him that, when are we going to have the first female Secretary, Secretary General? Yeah. No, she, he now said, then when will we have the next Madam General? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Antonio Guterres was shell sure He couldn't answer the question. Yeah. So he owned up to him that, yeah, we understand that this issue is also in the United Nations mm -hmm. and that we'll continue to see how we... <laughs> it's it. everywhere. So it's the global... <laughs> that we we'll keep talking about it. So it's, yeah, it's worse in Nigeria. Uh, yeah, perhaps, uh, perhaps it's worse. It's not just Nigeria. In some in countries. Some countries. Some countries. Yeah. Especially where religion plays... plays such it's where, it's since, since we are playing the religious card, yes. the Bible and the Quran mention prominent women mm -hmm. that had Fatima. expressed leadership. Yeah. So they should stop deceiving themselves. Yeah. Going for yeah. that the bible says that they are ne neither male nor female, female. sure mm -hmm. sure. No sure sure barbados just had a woman leading them into the future yeah. and guess what it was another woman that mm. actually had relinquished authority to her yeah. Queen elizabeth is a woman relinquished authority even in new zealand woman. in new zealand the woman anderson what's her name again um she's doing well in fact there was a survey of countries that Properly the manage the, con the COVID situation. Yeah. And it was, yeah, it by was women. So yeah, yeah, yeah women that. Well. Okay, but well, let me say something. No, okay. I think that while we're talking about all the things that need to change, we must also admit that some things have changed. A lot of the mm. bank um, heads okay, in leadership. Nigeria recently, mm. they are all women, women which yeah. means yeah. that mm. obviously they've. I mean, I hope it's not a political thing. No, I, I, I hope they're not playing to the I, gallery. I the but was. these women. Are I think we have made progress between now making, and the last 10 We are making yes. progress, but the yes. problem is that there are some in part of key, the country, key. some part of the country, some persons from some part of the country yeah. are okay. trying to drag us backward, yeah. while some other parts are moving forward. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I agree so that's with where the problem I agree with you. Yes. I agree with you. But too. that notwithstanding, I mean, I know that women in places like um, Cross River, um, Ogoni Land, mm -hmm. and things like that, yeah, they, are women, the uh, they are women, uh, you know, I have a friend, she is the um, leader of the house, you know, or the... Uh, um, State house? No, no, she's the 
chief of army staff okay. in a government. Chief of staff. Chief of staff. I'm looking at this woman and I'm thinking, how can she? Because she's she's a Niger woman mm. from Niger Delta. Yeah. So I can't yeah. imagine her standing there and but telling those men to. Yeah, uh, that's so. that's very interesting. But so it should happen team. everywhere. Not on T. Our northern, our northern brothers and sisters mm. uh, experience this. We will mm. keep talking because yeah. um, it's easy for some of them to say, oh, we'll get married, we'll marry off our girls at the age of mm. nine, mm. and then you don't want the girls to go to school. <laughs> Imagine the religious police mm. in a particular state who mm. sees a smartphone from girls mm. saying it's wrong for them I to do. I don't that, that, that this lady who won the beauty pigeon. Yeah, a beauty pigeon. Yes. This religious police a, had to summon her parents to explain mm -hmm. why she has, they have to I allow the daughter well. to. So it speaks to how this is more entrenched in some part of the mm. country. And she was, unlike she's very beautiful. Part of the country. Yeah. Yeah. She's a very beautiful. Well, thank you all for your review. Well, a woman should know her place, mm. and her place is in the driver's seat. Mm. Well, thank you for your attention. Why the program lasted? We hoped our conversations resonated with you. Little drops of water they say make a mighty ocean. Don't forget the advocacy continues on our social media platform on Facebook at Plus TV Africa hashtag the Advocate NG and Instagram at Plus TV Africa hashtag the Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com forward slash the Advocate NG. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Thank you for your constant love and support in the past year. Yes, to another amazing year. Let's keep advocating for a better society. See you next time and Happy New Year once again.